Eileen here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be trying to grow crystals using my Dollar Tree items. I purchased these kits from the Dollar Tree and I've been really trying to grow crystals on my own. It hadn't been working. Before we get started, I just want to ask you if you haven't already to please subscribe to my channel and don't forget, hit that bell icon so you get notified every time I upload to YouTube. I've got two different types of packages. They're both from this Science for Kids. This one here is a box that contains those jelly type of crystals and it came with blue, purple, and clear. Then I picked up two packages like this which came with a crystal powder. It's a little bit different and two rocks. So we're gonna see how these two different types grow crystals. And of course this is fun for kids if you have kids that are into this type of thing. But in my case, I'm just a grown-up into it. We are going to start with this package first. They had three packages of crystals in this package. It looks like black, blue, and clear. I'm not really sure. According to the package, it was purple, blue, and clear. The directions are very simple. I'm going to put these in a bowl, cover them with water, and wait and see how they grow. Unfortunately, the directions don't say how long to let them grow, so I guess we are gonna see how this works out. All right, so let me just dump these little crystals into the bowl. They kind of look like, they're like cubes of like, I don't know, some jellied up form of something. Interesting. It didn't say to separate them, put them together. I'm not quite sure. So I'm just putting them in three different bowls. I don't really know. And then you're just gonna cover them with water. I've got my crystals. I got them all separated, the purple, the blue, and the clear, and we're gonna just see how long it takes to grow them. In this package that I got that grows the crystals, it came with these two rocks here. And I got this in green and I got one also in purple. So what I did was I crushed up the rocks in one of the packages because I do want to try and make this into a jewelry DIY. If it comes out right, you'll see at the end. So I crushed up two of the rocks by just hammering them in between a cloth so that I could get them into smaller pieces. But I did leave these two guys whole because I just want to see how this works. So in this package, it came with this little, they call it a pedestal stand, and it came with this crystal blend. So what you have to do is just figure out how much cold water to put in here, because this is for children, and in the end, you're gonna put the hot water. So I've already measured it out. It's about an ounce of water that goes inside of this little pedestal, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna put three quarters of the crystal package in the pedestal. You're gonna mix it all up then to dissolve your crystals, put your rocks in, and then you're gonna sprinkle the remaining quarter of this crystal powder on top. It says it helps it grow quicker. And then the final step, it says to just sprinkle the crystals, the quarter that's left, on top to help everything grow faster. Now I am gonna just repeat this with the green. So it's been about two hours and these crystals are still growing, I guess, unless this is as big as they get. And here's the rock ones. But I'm gonna let them sit and I'll be back. So I ended up letting these crystals sit overnight just because I figured why not, let's just see if anything more is gonna happen. But I would say in about a couple of hours or maybe it was like three, all was said and done. And the only ones that worked were, were the crystals in this kit here. This kit worked and it made kind of like crystal cubes. I put them in a baggie because my kids think they're fun to play with for now until they start falling apart but this was all that happened. So you see there's the purple, the blue, and the clear. So that's what that product did. Now I'm gonna show you what the other ones did. So the one that was to grow your own crystals with the powder, 
that one, it kind of made this powdery crystal residue, but it's not really adhering too well to the stones. You barely could see anything on here. It kind of just looks like the stone. There's some crystal on here. All in all, it kind of, to me, looks like a rock with sugar or salt on it. There's all this crystal that did not adhere to the rock. So for me, this was kind of a failure. And if you just touch it, they're all falling off. So I'm not really happy with this product. All right, guys, this did not turn out as planned. But I do hope that you enjoyed seeing the review on these products the review on these products because I still have seen them at the Dollar Tree and I would recommend just the Science for Kids one that came in this package because that one actually did make cubes but I would not call them crystals. And the other one made crystals that just fell apart. So I do want to ask you if you like this product review please give this video a great big thumbs up. Don't forget subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and please hit that bell icon so you get notified every time I upload to YouTube. I'll see you soon. Bye.